YouTube, what is up guys? Today I have another yo-yo review, but instead of reviewing a full-sized yo-yo like this, we're gonna be taking a look at this tiny little one I got for $23 on Amazon.com. This is the Yo-Yo King's Dr. Smalls. It is quite small, just like the name says, but don't let that discourage you. It's actually pretty good. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here is how it's packaged. Yo-Yo King. So, this is a company, they make a lot of cheap yo-yos. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, stuff. I believe this was like $23. Um, but the funny thing is I actually had to order this twice. First time it got lost in the mail because of the COVID-19 stuff. They refunded me. And then I had to order it again. Uh, off Amazon is where I got it. I'll put the Amazon link down below. But yeah, I believe it was like $23. Why did, why did they use tape? That makes so, so stupid. Alright, and as you can see, this is the Dr. Smalls, so it is a small yo-yo, and it looks like it comes with a slim bearing in there, and it also comes with a center track, so you can have it set up responsive or unresponsive. Uh, if I had to compare this to anything, it would be the Yo-Yo Factory Pop Star. Not a total copy, the rims are different, well, thicknesses, but, I mean, very close. Uh, I brought out, like, all the really small yo-yos I got, like... Here's it next to a Yo-Yo Factory Heist. It's very dirty, sorry. Not quite as small as that. Or obviously as a Looney. Or as uh, a Mighty Flea. Shuriken. Slightly smaller. But it's really like exactly the same as the Popstar. Um, just the weight distribution looks different. Um, I'll put the specs right there. I'm not even going to play it responsive though, I only really want to play with this thing unresponsive. I am actually a big fan of, ooh, there's a lot of grease on here too, I'm going to put some thin lube on there, that's for sure. There's, you can just feel the grease like on the actual pads and stuff. It's actually pretty cool, Under, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, let me see if I can make this baby focus. Okay, it's very hard to see, but under the pad, it actually says Yo-Yo King, it's very hard to see with the pad in there. Like. I can hardly see it, but it says Yo-Yo King under the pad, so that's, that's pretty cool. Maybe you see it better on this side. It's very, very hard to see. Um, but, yeah, it does say Yo-Yo King on it. So where's my bearing tool? Magic Yo-Yo bearing tool? I love this thing, in my opinion. It's the best because it's super long, but on these small ones, it's still... Doesn't even work that good. I might have used the old fashioned method. Yeah, it's very hard. These little bearings. Very hard to get out with bearing tools. Um, so sometimes you just need to go the old fashioned way. You go like this. Oh, come on. Even this is hard. Come on. Man, this does not want to come out. Come on. You piece of garbage. Come on. I know you want to come out. Man, I have to get, I'm going to have to get some different players with the circle thing in them. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, pro tip. Use some players with this little circle grabber. Let's see if this works. If not, I guess we are going to play it responsive because I, I don't know if I can get this freaking thing out. Okay, it feels like I'm grabbing it good now. Come on. This is in there good. No wonder there was so much freaking lube on the thing. Come on. It's hard to grab onto it too because it's a small area. But yeah, this bearing does not want to come out. I'll get it out though. Oh, I felt something. I might have just... Yeah, this bearing does not want to come out. So if you're a kid, be prepared to ask your dad or mom or whatever for some help getting this bearing out because you it is really hard. Ugh. There we go. Oh, Eureka. That was a workout, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now we're going to take the center track bearing. We're going to pop it in here. Get in there. Okay, center track bearing feels very good. Uh, they use these hardened steel black axles. Or high carbon steel or whatever the, whatever the crap they are. Okay, and we are all set up and ready to go. Now it definitely feels, uh, it actually is wider now than the pop star, now that I put in the wider bearing. It's still kind of that same feel to it. Alright, so uh, now that we got the bearing all situated, uh, I do like too how uh, there's different laser engravings on each side. This side we got like the 
medical whatever logo. So we got the Yo-Yo King logo. Uh, all right, cool. Let's let's check it out. All right, guys. So uh, let's get into it. And remember, high diggity merch available down below. Super comfortable uh, and looks amazing as well. Okay, so okay, so surprisingly, the Yo-Yo is really smooth. Uh, being just that it's just as random, like company you see on Amazon and stuff, I was expecting it to have some vibe. This one in particularly, very smooth. Definitely feels like a mini yo-yo, but actually plays really good. Definitely, you know, not as long spinning as a full-size yo-yo would be. But it definitely spins long enough where you can still pull off your tricks and your combos. Uh, let's just keep going until the yo-yo gets really slow here. Response is actually perfect on this thing too. Actually, it spins longer than I was expecting. Um, and I really like yo-yos like this. They fit in your pocket with really, you don't even know it's in your pocket. Um, it's really, you know, perfect. So something fun about doing Eli Hops too, on small yo-yos, uh, same with like whip tricks, it's just like more satisfying, it feels like a greater sense of accomplishment, oh crap, see, and you're, you're going to miss a lot more often, which is good for you, uh, see, some of these are quite a bit harder on a small yo-yo like this, but definitely not impossible. For being the shinier finish, it actually grinds surprisingly well, too. Um, I was expecting to hate this yo-yo. So far, it has exceeded all my expectations. Uh, let's see if I can finger spin on it. There's a lot of laser engraving, and uh, who knows? This might be really hard. Uh, yeah, okay, so it, it like just like hopped off my finger. Like It doesn't really... It's so shallow that you can do it. Let me like, Give me a couple more tries. I bet you I can do it. But it's definitely not going to be... <laughs> the string tension doesn't want to adjust because the yo-yo is so small. <laughs> it tried to like pull the yo-yo. There we go. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so yeah, you can actually get it to get it to finger spin. You just gotta really catch it right on the middle because if you catch it off to the side, the the there's not a big like gap to hold it, so it'll kinda of, so to make it like kinda of like Spin like that. So if you don't catch it dead center, it's going to go like this and go flying off. Let me do one more to show you what I mean. Yeah, so if you catch it right in the middle, you're okay. Um, so it's actually pretty good finger spin. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Uh, you just got to make sure you catch it directly in the center. And the laser engravings didn't seem to, mo to affect it too much. Obviously, if you have a glove on or something, it'll definitely help that. <laughs> you know what though? I can't lie, this thing is pretty good. I've always been a fan of small yo-yos, just in general. I like, I, I just think they're fun. They're just like a little different every once in a while. You know, it's always fun to just play with a tiny yo-yo. And like I was saying before too, it also helps hone your skills. Like it's it's harder. So and also too, it doesn't spin. This one doesn't spin quite as long as like a full size yo-yo would. Um, but uh, honestly. For its size, it actually spins really long. Like for a mini yo-yo like this, I, I'm not the biggest fan of these clear white pads. Notice if I pull really hard, the string will just come out. So I will switch those with some red. I'm just going to put in some red silicone myself. Uh, in my opinion, red silicones, well, it's, it's my favorite by far. You don't get any of that string slippage uh, at all. But yeah, I think if I just changed, oops, if I just changed it to uh, red pads a little, I would probably love it. <laughs> chopstick tricks are so fun to do on little yo-yos too because it's so easy to go between. Like if you, you're first learning chopsticks, try it on a little yo-yo like this. It's going to make it way easier. Like it's just so easy to like land in your chopsticks. Oh, my string tension is too messed up for that. All those finger spins really jacking me up here. But yeah, I'm actually way more impressed with this than I thought I would be. I think... I thought it was just going to be like another one of those like yo-yos you find on Amazon, like uh, the Smart Use and the just all these random companies that you've never heard of. 
I was expecting to be something like that, or like those in one yo-yos. But this um, yo-yo king, at least, I think, in my opinion, going off this one at least, definitely a step up from some of those other ones. It uh, definitely feels like it's actually well machined, well constructed. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this company was actually made by another, like, more reputable yo-yo company. I have no idea, though, if they're their own thing, whatever. So if you have any information on Yo-Yo King as a company, let me know down below. And also, too, uh, if you have one of these, let me know down below. If yours, maybe you got one and yours is also, like, perfectly dead smooth like this one, let the people know. If you got one that, that it was horrible, let people know so that way they'll know how the quality control is because this is the only yo-yo I've checked out by this company that I can remember. I probably have checked out more, but um, off the top of my head, can't really think of any. So thank you guys so much for watching. Very affordable, tiny little yo-yo. If you got a $25 Amazon gift card in your wallet or something you don't know what to spend it on, get this thing. It's, it's actually pretty darn fun and just something different. You can have it. You can really take this thing anywhere. Uh, anywhere anytime you're wearing something that's uncomfortable to have a yo-yo with you or something, this is a great option. Just throw it in your pocket and you'll hardly even know it's there. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Buy some merch. It'll help the channel out. Uh, it actually helps it out a lot. I get like 40% of all the sales from this and I don't have to do anything. It all gets sent to your house. They're made to order. USA company, made in the USA. So um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.